Here's what you missed on WSBA's Morning News with Gary Sutton. In 1926, there was a basketball team formed called the Harlem Globetrotters. They originally were called the Chicago Globetrotters. They were started and by a guy named Abe Saperstein. And since that time, they have been around the world, I don't know how many times. We have with us a forward on that team. Uh, you may have heard him before. His name is Zeus McClurkin. You never get basketballed out, it sounds like. You're, I mean, you're playing all the time, right? About 360 games this year in 250 cities. So, yeah, we're playing a lot. What is it? I was reading your story. You've got an unbelievable story. You tried out for teams from 7th through 10th grade, and you didn't make it. You kept getting cut, but you kept coming back again and again and again, right? Tell us about that. Yeah, so I didn't make my first basketball team until the 11th grade. I got cut from 6th grade all the way to 10th grade. And then the summer of 10th grade, a miracle happened. I grew five inches over the summer. Finally made my first team, but... Gary, a lot of my teammates and coaches said the same thing to me at that point. They said I was too nice. And they said, in order to be good in basketball, you got to have a killer instinct, which I, I never developed. I was the type of guy, Gary, if I foul you, I actually apologized for it. And my coaches hated that about me. Uh, one thing in particular a lot of my coaches and teammates used to say is that uh, all I ever do is smile and dunk, smile and dunk. That's all I do. And today, <laughs> that's exactly what I get paid to do. So it worked out for me. Yeah, exactly right. In fact, you dug so much. You are a... Uh... Guinness World Records record holder of the most dunks in one minute, right? Yes, I actually made 16 slam dunks in one minute, and that was with having to go behind the free throw line in between every attempt. Uh, my teammates gave me the name Zeus because of my thunderous dunks, so they thought I'd be a good candidate to try to break this record. And uh, 16 dunks later, I made it happen. I want people to think about that for a second. You, got, you dunk the ball, you get it, you run back behind the foul line, you get to run and dunk it again. I mean, when you get to 16, you got to be pretty much worn down, right? Oh, I was dead. I was dead. I only attempted that one time. I wasn't doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> you also hold the record, and this is not a shot. I, I've coached basketball for like 41 years, but I've never seen anybody do this that much. Five bounced-in shots, three-pointers in uh, – let me check, make sure I got this right. The most three-pointers in one minute, you bounced in three-pointers, right? That's right, from the NBA range, too. So I had a wreck of basketballs right beside me, had my team, teammates rebound it, and I bounced in five three-pointers in one minute. And uh, that was difficult, too. I attempted it three times, got it on my third shot. That is nuts. I mean, tell me, Zeus, you're a guy, you're playing, you're like the custodian of a treasure here in this country, the custodian of an era. But you think about the guys that came before you, the Meadowlark Lemons, the Curly Neals, the Goose Goslins, all these different people that came before you. It's got to be awesome when you stop thinking about that and you put that Harlem Globetrotter uniform on every night, right? Man, you're right. I mean, the team's been around for the last 93 years, and um, it's the, the history behind the team is just amazing. But it's also, you know, a huge responsibility, too, because I carry on, on my shoulders, you know, these great memories uh, uh, that people share with, uh, you know, the people like Metal Ark and Curly Neal and, and Goose Tatum. And, um, you know, when they see me, when people see me just walking around Hershey yesterday, you know, someone saw my red, white, and blue shirt, and immediately it took them back to a time when they went to a game with their parents uh, or their grandparents. And, you know, even though they don't know me personally, uh, they know that since I play for the Harlem Globetrotters, I represent a great brand, and I'm, I'm a good person. And I think that's the coolest part about being a Globetrotter. I would dare say that those red, white, and blue striped uniforms maybe are the most famous uniforms around the world. Is that a fair statement? I think that's fair, absolutely. When you talk about coming to Hershey, I mean, we've had a lot of great basketball in Hershey. Globetrotters came down a lot of years right across the parking lot from where you're going to be playing. Wilt Chamberlain scored his 100 points right there in Hershey Park Arena. So, I mean, the history here in Hershey alone is incredible. When you get ready to go out each night, and obviously some people say, well, it must get old after a while. Does it ever get old for you at all? Oh, uh, no, no. The only time it gets old is when I'm on those small aircraft and being six foot eight. It's kind of hard to hit those planes. But <laughs> that, I'm having a great time. So this is my eighth season with the team. I've been to 23 countries and provinces. If you'd have told me uh, when I was a kid that I was going to travel the world like this, I would have thought you were crazy. Wow. Before you guys come out each night, what do you do? I mean, I've, I've always been interested in, you know, what are the last things that you do? What are the things you say? What are the things you go over? Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, we have to go through a pretty rigorous two-hour practice before every game. Uh, we'll get to the arena about two hours before in our game uh, this this Sunday at 2 o'clock. So we'll get there right around noon, 
And uh, we'll we'll try out a uh, little little new nuances of the game. So we might be shooting shots from the stands or trying out new dunks or uh, you know kind of testing out new bits on each other. And uh, whatever ends up working, we'll try it out. If if it doesn't work, we'll find out by the fans because <laughs> they won't cheer or they will cheer and they'll laugh at us. So you know it's it's pretty cool. We we go through a little. Uh, it's a it's a fun practice. Did I see somewhere where you guys actually were out with the Steelers one night when you were in Pittsburgh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, every now and then we'll collaborate with, with the local professional team. I've met uh, quite a few professional basketball players and football players. Uh, just two weeks ago, I did something cool with Marshawn Lynch. I went to his uh, elementary school uh, in Oakland, and we did an anti-bullying uh, presentation, which right. is uh, something common that we do. We do uh, – what we'll do is send a, an advanced person in, in ahead of the game, which is what I am right now, and uh, we'll go to schools, and we'll go to children's hospitals, and uh, you know it's it's important what we do on the court, but I feel like our off the court reach is very important as well. You know, what would you tell people out there, especially young athletes? Well, my biggest piece of advice is to be coachable. You know, be the type of person that the coach can count on with his plan and his philosophy. Like, I played a lot of minutes over guys who were probably better basketball players than me, but because I was coachable, uh, you know, they gave me a lot of time. Uh, I would even play minutes over scholarship guys, and I was just a walk-on. But, you know, I tell them, don't just be coachable in sports, be coachable in life. You know, like, listen to your parents, listen to your teachers, adults, even listen to your bosses, listen to anybody who has the time to give you any type of advice. They obviously care about you enough, so it's free to listen. You might as well hear them out. I like that. Maybe not just the coaches, but parents and uh, and other people as well. Just thanks so much, and uh, have a great day, my friend. Thank you. Take you care. Too. Keeping you in the know. WSBA's Morning News with Gary Sutton. Weekdays 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.9 and 910 WSBA.